Hey guys, what's up? This is the other half 1993. Um, finally, back with um my tips and tricks section. Yeah, sorry about the uh long absence of videos. I know I put up a recording schedule last week and second weekend I'm already not following it. But I've had some stuff going on. Um, schoolwork especially has been kind of rough these past couple weeks, and also I recently. In fact, a couple days ago, even, just um, decided to quit with the eBay account I was sharing with somebody, and of course, we were, ha we were having trouble deciding, you know, dividing it up, like what I should get, or what my fair share was. So, yeah, I haven't really been able, of course, I'm just making excuses for myself of not putting up videos, but, alright, uh, if I remember correctly, which according to my schedule, I'm behind one tips and tricks and one UV rant. And I'm actually in this one sitting and recording and record two chips and two trip tips and tricks. Sorry, because I need to get one up tomorrow anyway. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for that as of now. So yeah, I'll figure that out though. Don't worry about it. Um, this one though is something that I think uh, a lot of people really kind of underestimate as far as choices of this thing go. Um, I can't really. I'm not really worrying it well without giving it away. Side decking, I'm just going to say it. Side decking is um, what I'm talking about here uh, on this tips and tricks. And your side deck choices really can be your some of your most important choices. Like, I don't know, it's always been my belief that game one is the most important match because if you can win game one, then you're good to go for games two and three because then you can side. You have a pretty fair advantage if you win game one. Uh, that doesn't mean if you lose game one, you know, it's absolutely all over and you can't possibly come back. But, you know, game one is still a very important match. But I'm talking about games two and three here and what's the side deck. And there have been a couple side deck choices I've been debating about and discussing with some of my people that I go, there's some people I go to locals with. Um, the first of which is, uh, I don't know how well you can see these, but Trap Stun versus Dust Tornado. This is one. Uh, these side deck choices are one I was actually locked in for a while, like, uh, which is better, you know, Trap Stun or Dust Tornado, because they both have their own pros and cons, like, Trap Stun will stop more than one spell trap, and actually negate the effects, but it will not destroy them, and it's only for a turn. Dust Tornado will destroy a card and get it, get it off the field, but it only hits one. Um, after citing three of both in my Gladiator Beast deck and my X Saber deck, um, I can always say that I prefer Dust Tornado. In fact, I've actually moved two Dust Tornado from my side deck to my main deck in Gladiator Beast. Uh, just because uh, Dust Tornado. Now, don't get me wrong. Trap Stun is still a good card. Um, I really, I, uh, I really do like it. But the fact that Dust Tornado will, will permanently get rid of you know a skill drain or depression is just so nice because Trap Stun you really can't use it unless you're about to make a huge play. Which, um, that can be kind of hindering, because, like, it would obviously be pointless to just flip it up on a drain or oppression just to get one tag in, and not really benefit that much off of it, you know. If you're fully trap stun, you're ideally going for guys that are to blow up their spell traps, or the traps you're negating. Um, yeah, I prefer Dust Tornado just because it gets it off the field. As far as setting a card goes, that effect I rarely ever use. Um, sometimes I'll use it for a Wabaku and then ram a GB into a stronger monster the next turn. But other than that, um, I really don't use that second effect. But yeah, I prefer Dust Tornado. Again, Trap Stun, good card, but I prefer Dust Tornado. Another one against GB that I'm surprised a lot of people haven't brought up is the Miravos versus Swallow Flip. And I gotta be honest, af again, after citing three of both for a while, I personally prefer Swallow Flip. Now, a lot of people will say, well, Mirror of Oaths is the same thing as Swallow Flip unless you draw a card. Yeah, Mirror of Oaths is nice, especially since it can hit Rescue Cat, too. And don't get me wrong, like with Trap Stun, Mirror of Oaths is a good card, and I did use it for a while, and I really did like it. Um, but I gotta be honest, I just love Swallow Flip so much more because it can hit every other, it can hit every Gladiator Beast that Mirror of Oaths can hit, except Secutor, but. Not being able to hit Secutor isn't that, hu isn't that huge of a deal, but like, a lot of people like, at my local didn't really seem to know this. Um, if you tag in a Lakari or a Hoplimus and they get their attack points, that qual- uh, I don't want to say this as absolute fact, this is just what um, 
I've gathered and what my local judges have told me, but I'm going to trust them because it makes sense. Um, when they when their attack power shifts, or defense power in Alpha's case shifts, um, that will actually trigger Swallow Flip, and you can Swallow Flip a Lucario Hop West. Again, I don't know that for 100% certain. Maybe I'm wrong, and if that's the case, I would definitely rethink if I want to use Miracles or not. But, to my knowledge, Swallow Flip hits Gladiator, all Gladiator Beasts that Miracles can hit, except Sekitor. Um, another thing about Swallow Flip is that, yeah, it can't hit Rescue Cat, but it can hit Geyseros, which I find to be a huge advantage over Miracles. But probably the biggest advantage it has is that Swallow Flip will actually negate and destroy the Gladiator Beast. Miravos just destroys it, so if your opponent tags in a quest or a Mamillo or a Bistari, they'll still get their effects off. Um, but Swallow Flip will actually negate that effect. Also, my body is starting to become a more popular, my body as a shield is starting to become a more popular card in Gladiator Beast, and it easily stops Miravos, but it can't stop, cannot stop Swallow Flip. Which is another reason why I really do prefer Swallow Flip over Miravos. Um, so there's that. Now, a lot of people have been asking, like, a lot of, or a lot of people have been wondering, um, like, how do you stop Veo to on Black Wings? Um, which I'll, I'll give them credit, you know, uh, those are really too difficult decks to stop. Um, like, obviously, when it comes to Veo to your first slide is a side three dimensional fissure. Um, but, you know, Veo Turbo typically runs uh, Barrel from a different dimension and Return. So, side dimensional fissure is actually. It's not a bad side deck choice against Vayu Turbo, but there's more efficient stuff you can be doing. Um, personally, I pick these four cards for my side deck, and I also side these against Life Sworn. Um, uh, three Calculate the Ghost Destroyer, and the Transmigration Prophecy. These these four cards help immensely against Vayu Turbo, especially against Sky Kaiku. Because what Kaiku does, uh, the effect that a lot of people actually don't give him credit for, is the fact that your opponent cannot remove cards from their graveyard while Kaiku is in play, which is an extremely handy effect. I cannot get over how awesome that is against Vayu Turbo because they can't use their um, they can't use their Vayus for one. They can't use their Necros. I actually think that's it as far as what they can't use. I don't really I've never really seen a Vayu Turbo that runs a malicious, but they wouldn't be able to use that. But the ability to stop Vayu and Necro, especially for a Gladiator Beast stick like mine or just any deck in general. Is immensely helpful, and you know, on top of all that, Kaiku is a decent 1800 beat stick, and it uh, removes two cards when it inflicts battle damage, so that's also really helpful. Transmigration Prophecy is nice because um, if your opponent declares the activation of Veyu's effect, you can chain this, shuffle Veyu, and the other Blackwing back in their deck. Um, so, th again, this is a really nice card to have, and like I said, I I also side these four against Light Sworn, so that also really helps. Um, but, um, sorry guys, we'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so, I'm almost out of time here, I think. So, one, two more cards I'd like to go over against the Blackwing Mirror Match, or against the Blackwing Matchup. Is two lightning vortexes. Um, with Blackwing's ability to swarm, these really, really help uh, again for the Blackwing match. Um, that's really, I mean, Blackwing is such a hard deck to side against. I usually side these guys, and actually, these are all, almost usually all I side against Blackwing, so. Um, yeah. If you, have, if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions of, as to what to side against Blackwing, uh, go ahead and comment below. And because I, myself and the other Yu-Gi-Oh community well, would love to hear your opinions and your ideas. So I'm actually out of time for this. Um, I've already covered everything I want to cover, though. So that was tips and tricks, side decking choices. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and look out for the next edition, which should be up tomorrow. See you later.